On this week's show, Ford advertises its electrified patents for sale, free charging for life when you invest in one European charging provider, and the Tesla Model S customers getting more than they thought they would. These stories and more coming up next on Tech. Enjoying today's show on YouTube and want to read the stories we're referring to today? Either click on the little information bar at the top of this video on selected stories or head to our website at www.transportevolve.com where you'll find the latest future car news as well as our buying guide, tech primers and of course our weekly show notes. It's Friday, May 29th, 2015. I'm Nikki Gordon-Bloomfield and I want to know why I can't have another three-day weekend until August. I'm kind of bummed out about that one. First unveiled at the 2015 North American International Auto Show in Detroit, and actually the 2015 CES a few days earlier, the 2016 second generation Chevy Volt is greener, leaner and meaner than its predecessor. And if you live in the golden state of California, Thursday this week marked the first day that you could head to your local Chevy dealership to place an order for the five seat range extended plug-in. As usual, Californians are ahead of the rest of the US when it comes to ordering the latest and greatest plug-in, with order books there open a good two months before other key states like Oregon, New Jersey and New York, and a full three months before order books open in the rest of the US. With production due to start this summer for California customers and deliveries due to kick off this August, we're guessing very few customers will want the outgoing 2015 Volt. But as we've said before, there are now bargains to be made if all you want is a car with a plug. From a brand new next generation car to one which is being given two new colours and a teeny tiny convenience feature upgrade for the 2016 model year to keep it fresh and current in the marketplace. Yes, we're talking about the Hyundai Tucson Hydrogen FCV SUV, which, and we're not kidding here, got itself an entire press release this week to announce the addition of Homelink connectivity and two new exterior paint choices for the 2016 model year. Normally, we'd ignore these kind of press releases, but this week we just had to moan a little about the fuss given to these two changes because, frankly, it's kind of sad, especially given the fact that Hyundai hasn't changed the lease deal for its limited production hydrogen fuel cell car or in fact anything else for the model year transition. But hey, if you want a choice of three colours rather than the single colour offered last year, maybe it will be the thing that convinces you to buy. Yeah! When it comes to combining the worlds of high-performance, high-end electric cars and autonomous driving technology, Tesla Motors is currently the only automaker that will soon offer both, thanks to its over-the-air 7.0 system update for all autopilot-enabled Model S sedans. But this week at CES Asia, Volkswagen's luxury brand Audi stepped into the same ring by unveiling its R8 e-tron piloted driving prototype car. Sadly, we don't have any footage of the car driving itself, but we can tell you that the R8 e-tron piloted driving prototype uses the same all-electric drivetrain as the limited production built-to-order 2016 R8 e-tron electric coupe, as well as the same autonomous driving capabilities as the RS7 prototype and A7 piloted driving prototypes we've covered on this show before. I'll wrap it up together and you've got a 240 plus mile super fast plug-in car that can drive itself, charge itself, and probably do your taxes as well. I want to go. About this time last year, Tesla Motors announced it would be offering its electric car patents for free to other automakers in an attempt to accelerate the mass market adoption of plug-in vehicles. Then earlier this year, Toyota did the same thing with its hydrogen fuel cell technology. Well, this week, Detroit giant Ford followed suit, announcing that it would be making more than 600 of its approved electrified vehicle patents, and some 1,000 more still waiting for patent granting, available to the rest of the automotive industry. Included in the patent bundle are ones relating to how electric cars balance their battery cells, regenerative braking of hybrid vehicles, and even in-car eco-coaching software designed to get people to drive in a more ecologically minded way. The only thing to note, while those patents are freely available, they do come with a price tag for anyone wishing to use them in a commercial setting. And we're guessing the price tag is pretty high. We're not usually ones to cover unsubstantiated rumours here on Transport Evolved, but this week one passed our desk that we think plausible enough to be deserving of a mention on this week's show. 
Earlier this week, rumours started to fly around about a potential battery pack upgrade to the 2016 Nissan LEAF, increasing the pack capacity from the current 24 kilowatt hours to 30 kilowatt hours for the high end 2016 LEAF SV and 2016 LEAF SL models. Having reached out to Nissan, we can tell you that it is currently denying these rumours, but after some careful consideration, we're happy to at least mark these rumours as plausible. And here's why. The next gen LEAF isn't due until 2016 as a 2017 model, but based on past conversations, we know Nissan has a better, more energy dense battery pack in the wings ready to take the stage. And the last model year of the current LEAF could be the perfect test bed for that. We've got a more in depth analysis on our site, so do head over there and check it out when we're done here. It's often the case that plug-in owners buy their first electric cars as a second vehicle to a high-end and often high-performance car. Indeed, many are sold their first electric cars as suitable family runabouts that will save them gas money when there's an errand to be run. But this week, thanks to our friends at Green Car Reports, we heard about the BMW 3 Series convertible owner and blogger Chris Backus, who loves his month-old Fiat 500e, which he recently got after hearing about an impossibly awesome lease deal on the stylish Italian plug-in. He loves it so much that he's considering selling his gas-guzzling 335i convertible for good. Bacchus praises a smooth acceleration and nippy handling of the pint-sized plug-in and now admits that he enjoys it more than his finely engineered German driving machine. It's proof yet again that automakers need only get potential owners behind the wheel of a future-fueled vehicle to see the benefits, which does make us wonder how long it will be before Fiat Chrysler CEO Sergio Marchione realises what a stonkingly good plug-in car his company has made and stops being nasty about it. It doesn't matter if it's a free upgrade on a long-haul flight, an extra pump of syrup in our coffee or a free mobile phone upgrade. Everyone likes it when they get more than they pay for. Well, this week, as the folks over at Electrek explained, some Tesla customers who have certified pre-owned Tesla Model S electric cars that they've purchased through the Tesla Motors website have discovered that their new pre-owned rides are a little bit more special than they originally thought. One owner, for example, found themselves picking up a Tesla Model S P85 after having purchased what they thought was a Tesla Model S 85 online, while another found themselves to be benefiting from upgraded interior and fog lights, neither of which were mentioned on the Tesla website description. And they're not alone. The upgrades seem to be a result of Tesla's system not taking into account any of the upgrades performed on the cars since leaving the Fremont factory when they were made, but it's certainly causing quite a stir among would-be Tesla owners eager to see if they'll get the bargain of the century as a result. And finally for today, it's been acknowledged for some time that finding a workable business model for offering public electric car charging is really darn difficult, partly because operating the network is far more costly than the money that you can legitimately charge people for using it. Charge too little and you'll run out of funds, charge too much and customers just won't bother to give you their money in the first place. But now our charging network from the Netherlands thinks it might have cracked the key to expansion. Offer investors the chance to charge for free for life if they buy more than 25,000 euro worth of shares in the company. Enter Fastnet, a rapidly expanding rapid charging provider which wants to change the way we charge plug-in cars across Europe. And to help it continue its rapid expansion, it's offering customers the chance to buy shares in the company at €10 Euro per share. Those who buy more than 2,500 shares, about $27,500 worth, will join a special founders club, giving them free charging whenever and wherever they need it across the Fastnet network. It is a clever idea, but given the fact that most people that do have that kind of money probably have a Tesla, and Tesla offers charging for free anyway at its supercharging network, we're not sure how many people will take Fastnet up. Still, you've got to give it to the company for being innovative, eh? Well done. I know it was a short week, but I think we've hit the time limits again as always. We'll be back next week at the usual time for another show, but in the meantime, you can find all the other news that's fit to print on our website at www.transportevolve.com, chat to us on the Twitters at Transport Evolve, or head to our YouTube channel to catch up with our latest shows. As always, there's been a lot we haven't managed to fit into today's show, including the very clever and very mobile Tesla pop-up shop touring the US and Europe this summer, 
Audi confirms the Q6 e-tron long-range electric SUV for production in 2018. Qualcomm and Mercedes-Benz team up on wireless electric car charging technology. And I give you my first impressions behind the wheel of a Tesla Model S P85D. Yeah. So when we're done, be sure to send to our site to read them all. Thanks for watching. I'm Nikki Gordon-Bloomfield. Stay out of trouble and until next week, keep evolving.